Hey, welcome back once again to the shop here at New Traditions Dulcimers and Woodcrafts and the home of Wabash Ukulele right here in beautiful Somerset, Indiana. My name is Dan Daniels and I want to share with you a, a, a little something this morning that's that, another part of our, our, our shop here and that's repairs. A customer of mine brought in this beautiful Guild D44 um, 1972 D44M um, gorgeous gorgeous guitar. Uh, serial number 63762, built in 1972. He's concerned about the action, and rightly so. He wanted us to do a neck reset, and we agreed to do that. We've done dozens of neck resets. It's not that big of a deal, but um, after investigating and looking at the problem and going through and, and checking the geometry of this joint and the soundboard, I've kind of determined that it's not a neck reset that's needed. I did some more checking and, and found that this plane here is good and flat, uh, but down here at the bridge, you start to have a belly bulge, which is, you know, the midlife belly bulge. Any, any of us that were around in 1972 uh, probably have the same thing. So I've determined that what we need to do is, is to take care of this problem down here, um, and that should eliminate the action. So how we'll do that is I'll take the bridge off, and the bridge has been replaced before, and um, there's there's a lot of space under the between the bridge and the soundboard back here. So we'll just put a hot spatula in there, and the bridge will come right off. We'll introduce heat to the um, bridge plate, which is underneath the soundboard, and we'll introduce heat to the soundboard as well, and that will loosen the glue. It's, it should be hide glue that will loosen the glue on the bridge plate and allow the the wood to shift and then once that glue is loosened we'll take the heat away and clamp everything flat and that will take care of this belly bulge now what the belly bulge does is that it cants the saddle this way throwing off your intonation and your action once that's done um, this this will be flat up here we'll go ahead and, and do some uh, minor work on the bridge uh, to help with the action setting, put the bridge back on, and we should be in good shape. And Eric will be playing this guitar once again. It's a beautiful guitar. 1972 is the, uh, it was built sometime in, in 1972. I think actually I see a date of 21172. Perhaps that's what that means. Um, D44M, blonde. 63762 beautiful guild guitar i'm excited about about getting this done i told eric when he contacted me that it'd be at least two months i've got uh, three or three ukuleles that need to be done by christmas i've got two dulcimers that need to be done by christmas i've got several native american style flutes that have been ordered a bunch of our wood crafts for for christmas uh, time christmas shopping and christmas gifts so we're busy here but uh I'm, my curiosity is killing me. When I have something that's a problem, I like to fix it, uh, or at least investigate and figure out how to fix it. And I think that's where we're at with this. So I'll be working double shifts. I, I don't think there's um, overtime, time and a half for those of us who are self-employed. But um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, we'll, we'll get this guitar shaped uh, in good shape real soon. It's being cleaned. One of the first processes that a luthier does, a repairman does, is he cleans the instrument to make sure that, the, that we, we don't have any cracks in the soundboard or anything like that. So the soundboard has been, been cleaned and it's in great shape. The back and sides are clean and they're in great shape and the neck has been cleaned. Uh, it probably needs another cleaning, but it's in great shape as well. So there you go, guitar repair. One of my favorites, Guild D44M, built in 1972, owned by Eric Olson here in uh, northeastern Indiana. Thank you, Eric, for putting your trust and faith in, in me and uh, my, my craftsmanship. And we'll get this baby strung up and playing like crazy. It's going to sound so good. There you go. See you next time. Lord bless you guys.